So guys in this video we are going to do one problem based on plugging breaking for a DC separately excited motor. Okay, very important problem. So here they have given a 220 volt 970 rpm 100 ampere DC separately excited motor. Okay, so what all things are given? Let me just write the given things. So 220 volt, so voltage is given 220 volt. Next 970 rpm, let me consider it as N1, that is 970 rpm. Okay, fine. Next 100 ampere, that is nothing, will, it will be IA armature current, it will be 100 ampere. Okay, next has an armature resistance of 0 0.05 ohm, that means armature resistance RA is equal to 0 0.05 ohm. It is break by plugging from an initial speed of 1000 rpm. So next speed will be considered as N2 that is 1000 rpm. Okay, next we have to calculate the first part resistance to be placed in armature circuit to limit breaking current to twice the full load value. Okay, so we have to find out the resistance that is nothing but they are asking in the first part to find out RB which is the resistance to be placed in armature circuit to limit breaking current twice the full load value correct twice the full load value now we'll discuss what is that and all so first part of the question we have to find out resistance which is rb now how to find out resistance simple formula rb plus ra ra is nothing but the armature resistance which is equal to e plus v by ia it is nothing but resistance is equal to v by i same formula okay additional thing is there e plus v is there okay now here we know v value right v value is already given in the question that is 220 volts and ia value is also given that is 100 ampere ra value is given that is 0 0.05 now we have to anyways find out rb unknown thing is e E we can name it as E2 because we will be using formula. So for calculating it what I will be doing here. Observe. For calculating E we have the formula E2 by E1 is equal to N2 by N1. Okay. Simple thing. Now here what is E2 value? E2 value we have to find out what is E1 value. E1 value will be calculated by the formula V minus IARA. Okay. This is the formula. So V value we know 220 minus IA value is 100 RA value is 0 0.05 so we'll be getting E1 value as 215 volts this value we can substitute over here so what will be the answer E2 by E1 is equal to N2 by N1 that implies E2 value we don't know E1 value is given as uh, we found out that is 215 equal to n2 value n2 and n1 value n2 value is 1000 by n1 value is 970 rpm right so this 215 i can take that side so e2 will become 1000 by 970 into 215 which is equal to calculating all uh, calculating this one we'll get it as 221.65 volts so this E2 value after calculating, we have to put it in this in order to get the resistance. So while putting, you should be careful that when you put C here carefully, RB plus RA, RA value is 0 0.05 equal to E2 value is 221.65 plus V value is 220 by IA value. Now remember in the question they have given twice the full load value that means ia you have to take twice so when you write here ia you it should be 100 into 2 100 is ia value into 2 you have to do that will be 200 ampere okay you have to take 200 why because they have said twice okay so when you calculate this one you will be getting 2.21 okay 2.21 then rb is equal to 2.21 i i just calculated this part okay this part if you calculate you will get this one so 2.21 minus 0 0.05 which will be equal to 1.16 ohm this is the external this is the resistance to be added in armature circuit to limit breaking the first part of the question is done the first part of the question is so simple to do it is basically you have to apply this formula in this formula e2 was unknown so for finding out e2 you have to use this formula in that e1 is unknown so find out e1 you have to use this formula 
okay so putting all the values you will get the answer now b part coming to b part we have to find out the breaking torque coming to b part we know it is something but breaking torque so in order to find out breaking torque it is quite simple what you have to do torque we know that power what is power power is something but this speed into torque right so from this torque is something but what power by speed omega m so power we can write it as here e into ia right v into i same thing e into ia you have to write e you can specify it as e2 always you have to take e2 only so e2 value we already know that is something but this one ia value we know omega m what is omega m omega is m is nothing but 2 pi n by 60 correct 2 pi n by 60 you have to take so putting all the values breaking torque is equal to e2 values 221.65 into ia values 200 why because again the same thing twice the this thing by omega m is nothing but 2 pi n by 60 so 2 pi n n values what n values 1000 by 60 okay 2 pi n by 60 so calculating this value will get it as 420 3.3 newton meter okay you need you have to write carefully so here also remember ia you have to take twice now coming to c part of the question where they have asked the torque when the speed has fallen to zero torque we have to find out when the speed has fallen to zero so the first thing is that in order to find out torque we have to go for the formula torque is directly proportional to the armature current so we can write it as ta2 by ta1 is equal to ia2 by ia1 okay now here you need to find out torque value right so torque value ta2 you have to find out so ta1 what will be ta1 ta1 is nothing but the breaking torque this is nothing but ta1 so ta1 we will get it from here okay what about ia2 and ia1 ia1 is already given that you have to take it as 200 twice the full load and ia2 you have to calculate how to calculate ia2 ia2 is equal to i is nothing but v by r so v by r a plus r b now v what about e e will consider it as zero because at zero speed e is equal to zero okay at zero speed they have said at zero speed right you can see over here talk when the speed has fallen to zero so therefore we have to consider e as zero now here we will get it the for value as what when you substitute here 220 by ra plus rb is nothing but it will be 2.21 okay ra plus rb is equal to 2.21 99.55 ampere so ia2 you got this value you have to substitute over here okay so all the values you got so now you can find out ta2 so ta2 by ta1 is equal to ia2 by ia1 so that implies ta2 as it is ta1 value we know from the previous breaking torque that is to for 423.3 newton meter equal to ia2 just now calculated 99.55 by ia1 is nothing but we have got it as 200 ampere twice the full load so from this we can get ta2 value that is 99.55 by 200 into 423.3 which is equal to 210.7 newton meter so this is the value when the this is the torque value when the speed has fallen to zero so entire question is over